Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. In this video, we're going to look at formal expressions. So how to form algebraic expressions. And that may be quite useful, particularly if you may be given a shape and you've got a formal expression for its perimeter, or you've maybe got someone's age and then you're told that someone else is double their age and things like that. If you've got the revision cards, the algebraic notation revision card will be quite useful. That's card number 49 on the foundation set. So in this video, we're going to focus on formal expressions. I'm going to go through some questions. There's going to be some for you to try. So remember to pause the video and to give those a shot as well and then what we'll do is we talk about the practice questions so let's get started okay so today we're going to be looking at formal algebraic expressions so in this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a question i want you to pause the video to try that question yourself and then i'll talk about how i would do it and hopefully we'll get the same answer so have a look at this question we've got jacob's got four bags of sweets there's y sweets in each bag write an expression in terms of y for the total number of sweets that he has so press pause and to try this question now yourself Okay, so Jacob's got four bags of sweets and each one contains Y sweets. So if, for instance, each one contained 10 sweets, we would do four times 10. If each bag had 100 sweets, we would do four times 100. We don't know how many sweets are in each bag. We just know there are Y number of sweets in each bag. So we're just going to do four multiplied by Y. So we're going to do four multiplied by Y. Now, remember in algebra, we don't write the multiplication sign. So we're just going to write four Y. That would be four times Y, four Y. And that's it. So the total number of sweets that Jacob would have would be four Y. And that's it. That's our expression in terms of Y. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question and feel free to press pause to read this question to try it yourself now. Okay, so the question says Matt and James run on a lap of running track. So there's two people, Matt and James, and they run on a lap of running track. And it takes Matt X seconds to complete the lap of the track. So it takes him X seconds. So it could be 10, it could be 72, it could be 100 seconds even. James completes the lap five seconds before Matt. So he completes it five seconds before Matt. So James is a bit faster and he completes it in five seconds less. It takes him five less seconds to complete the lap. So if Matt done it in 100 seconds, James completed it in 95 seconds. And we've been asked to write an expression for the number of seconds it takes James to complete a lap of the track. So it takes Matt X seconds and James completed it five seconds before him. So we just need to take five away from X and so that's how long it would take James. So it'd be X subtract five. And that's it because he does it in five seconds less time than Matt does. So we do X take away five seconds and that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, a pencil costs X pence, a ruler costs Y pence, and Aaron buys seven pencils and two rulers. Write an expression for the total cost in pence of seven pencils and two rulers. So feel free to press pause now to try this question out yourself. Okay, so each pencil costs X pence, and she buys seven of them. So if, for instance, it costs 10 pence, you do seven times 10. If it costs 15p, you do seven times 15. It costs X pence, so we're going to do seven multiplied by X. We would times them together to find the cost of those pencils. In terms of the rulers, she buys two rulers. They cost Y pence each. So if, for instance, if they cost 40p, you do two times 40p. If they cost 70p, you do two times 70p, and so on. So they cost Y pence each. We're going to do two times Y, so two times Y. And we're looking for the total cost. So the pencils cost 7x, the rulers cost 2y, so we'd add them together to get the total cost of 7 pencils and 2 rulers. And that's it. So the total cost in pence of 7 pencils and 2 rulers would be 7x plus 2y. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this is to do with ages, and feel free to press pause and try this question out yourself. Okay, so the question says Jake is X years old, so he's X years old. Anna is nine years older than him, so whatever age he is, she's nine years older. And Beth is twice as old as Jake, so she's double his age. Beth is double Jake's age. And the question says write an expression for Anna's age and write an expression for Beth's age. So in terms of Anna's age, she's nine years older than Jake, so he's X years old. She's nine years older, so we would add on nine to find her age. So for instance, if he was 10, you do 10 plus nine, which is 19 and so on. So it's gonna be X plus nine. So an expression for Anna's age would be X plus nine. Okay, in terms of Beth, well, Beth is twice as old as Jake. So whatever age he is, she's double it. So we would multiply by two. So we just need to take his age, which is X, and we need to multiply that by two. So we're just gonna do two X. So that'd be double his age. Two times X is then Beth's age. So that's it. So an expression for Anna's age would be X plus nine. And an expression for Beth's age would be two X. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next part. So the next part, we've got the same information and we've been asked to write an expression for the sum of their ages. So have a think now what the expression would be for the sum of their ages. So go back and think, what is the sum of their ages? So press pause now and try that out yourself. Okay, so Jake was X years old, Anna was X plus nine, and Beth was two X. And we've been asked to find an expression for the sum of their ages. Remember, sum of their ages when we add up their ages. So we just need to add these up and see what we get. So we've got X, we've got x plus 9 and we've got 2x. 
So if we add those up, let's see what we get. So let's add up our x's. x plus x is 2x, plus another 2x would be 4x's. And then we've still got our plus 9, so plus 9. So the sum of their ages, the expression for the sum of their ages would be 4x plus 9. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So last question says, Henry is x years old, Isaac is twice as old as Henry, and Ella is three times older than Isaac. And we've been asked to write an expression for Ella's age. So feel free to press pause and try this question out yourself. Okay, so Henry is x years old. Isaac is twice as old as Henry, so that means Isaac is double Henry's age. So that means we would multiply Henry's age by 2, so that'll be 2x. So that means that Isaac is 2x, his age. And Ella is three times older than Isaac, so that means that Ella is three times Isaac's age. So we need to multiply 2x by 3. And 2x multiplied by 3 would be 6x. So that means that Ella's age is 6x. So that means our expression for Ella's age is 6x. And let's just recap that. Henry's x years old. Isaac is double his age, or twice as old as Henry, so we're double x to be 2x. Now she's three times older, so we need to multiply this by 3. And 2x times 3 would be 6x. That means the expression for Ella's age is 6x. And if you got that, well done. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we'll be focusing on forming expressions. We've been looking at how to form algebraic expressions for different situations. Obviously, with a topic like this, you know, you've got your ones which you, you know, might come up stuff like the perimeter of shapes or um, people's ages and things like that. But also the context may change. So I highly recommend looking at the practice questions. So if you go to the description below and go to the practice questions for form and expressions, there'll be some useful questions there just to get used to different situations where you may need to form algebraic expressions. So I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I just want to also take a moment just to say, keep up the hard work. You're doing fantastically well. If you've watched all the videos, so far well done you that's that's fantastic uh, you deserve a medal you deserve a top grade just for that alone uh, but well done keep up the hard work and keep trying your best because that's all you can do if you keep trying your best at least you'll know if you get the top grade fantastic but if not at least you know you've given it your all and that's all you can ever do is just give it your very best so i'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock for the next video cheers bye